Good morning. It is February the 1st, 2016. My co-host guest today is Patty McGrath, also known as Super Logo Boy, and he is. Okay, like there's a lot of people have superpowers. His is logos. Just take a look at his site and you'll see what I mean. It's uh, superlogoboy.com and it's spelled out for you there, chapter and verse. To start that conversation, you'll be glad you did. Today, as every Monday, we talk blog roll. And, and one of the measures I did last night when I was putting the notes together was I said, well, what's a good blog? And I kept going back and back and forth and looking here and there. I ended the search on buffer.com. And as always, the show notes will contain all the links I talk about in this. So don't grab a pen and start writing furiously. Um, what buffer.com does, aside from having a great blog, and a mobile-ready blog, I might add, which responsive first is the rule, not the exception, is they've set it up as a subdomain. So instead of going to buffer.com whack blog, it's URL, so they don't have to pay separate for a domain name. It's blog.buffer.com. So that means their top-level domain name is buffer.com. And they've set up a subdomain, just like you have www for your domain name. That's a subdomain. And it's incidentally pointed at your homepage. But they've made their blog content exist in that directory called blog. And so they can have a subdomain pointer of blog.buffer.com. Um, it's a fully distributed team. That is, their people work all over the world. And this morning I read about Buffer is hiring, that's right. They received 2,000 applications. Of those 2,000 applications they got, 70 people got an interview. And of the 70 interviewed, they've got some new engineers on the team. And no, I'm not gonna tell you how much it is. You have to go look. So anyway, buffer.com, great blog to check out at blog.buffer.com. And maybe give yourself some brain food, some ideas on what to do in your blog. Because don't you think, Patty, that, that we spend a lot of time brainstorming, like, what's the blog post going to be for this week or this day? I'll be honest with you, um, Guy. I've not Blogging is my main goal for the first quarter of this year. I've only done one so far, but I've got two or three others half written. Um, uh -huh. I'm in a lucky position where I'm busy without having to do that, but I know it's an essential thing for longevity. So it's a habit I'm going to make myself adopt now. And right. The, one or two will come out this week, guaranteed. I, I think that, that the, the other thing that it does besides longevity is it gives you more transparency. People mm -hmm. have more of a sense of what you're about, where you're from, and so forth. Because until you speak and blab, they don't know, know that you have an Irish accent, right? They just well, think, oh, you're a guy that has an Irish name. But until you actually talk, it's an assumption yeah, well, until that point. Well, I'm actually English, but my dad's Irish, so... Uh, um, Right. Yeah. It's, oh, it's that's right. I forgot. I forgot. My bad. Oh, yeah, it's no problem. Um, but the English accent's so diverse. Anyway, like the American, you'll be able to pick up the nuances of a Texas and a South Carolina accent, and I'd be the same with a North, South in England. And it can change within different ends of a city sometimes. So, um, exactly. But yeah. But going back to your point about the transparency, I think that's really important, which is one of the reasons why I'm throwing myself in at the deep end with live streaming as well. This is totally alien to me. I know you've been doing this type of thing for a while, um, but there's no no time like the present. This was something that intimidated me. So no, I'm going to go for it. Well, you've you've gotten past the intimidation. You're doing well. Thank you. Um, and one part of the whole streaming thing is I just got accepted with the podcast, the audio section of this. And a big thank you to blab.im for providing me with a video and an audio uh, file that I can post up online. But I got accepted into an outfit, uh, Stitcher Radio. And they they have an app, and it's available on, let me, I'm looking at my notes furiously here. Where is that? It's available on Android, iOS, oh, Nook. That's what I couldn't think of. And iPad. So an iPad a Nook, Android, iOS, it's going to be on about 4 million dashboards and cars in America. That's a pretty good reach. So I I urge you to give Stitcher a try. See if you're going to develop content that's going to be 
of audio in nature that you want to put on? Because basically, Stitcher is radio on demand. Instead of having to listen to it live, if you want to listen to the Cook Report live, and I've never put it online so you couldn't get an archive of it. So if you're not available at 7 a.m., well, I missed it for today. Well, with Stitcher Radio, you can tune it in anytime you want to. Okay? Just download it on your phone, whatever. So um, shout-out time as I wind this down. Big thank you to Edinburgh Dusters. If you're in Edinburgh and Scotland and you need cleaning done, Edinburgh Dusters, simply put, is the company that likes to clean. So if you've moved out of an apartment and you need to get it spruced up for the next renter and so forth, give those folks a call. Um, they also, Edinburgh Dusters, besides doing the graphics for the Cook Report, also, at the same time, being just equally stunning, told me about this outfit, podbean.com. I've got the audio for the Cook Report on the cookreport.podbean.com. Like I always tell you, the links will all be in the show notes. And I, something I always forget to say, and I've written it on the notes, subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. Um, I've got the video, this video of Patty and I talking about what we're talking about. In this instance, it's transparency and other things. It's going to be available on the YouTube channel. And so if you're watching it on YouTube, click that button wherever it is. Uh, I think it's down there. It's down there. Um, and subscribe to the show and, and get some more of them. I hope that you'll enjoy it. And so on that note, I wish you all a happy Monday. And at the end of the show, I always say those three magic words. It's a wrap.